go somewhere. I told him, you all the time, you ain't going no damn way. You go when you get ready. Man, I just feel at some point you need to um, make your own way. That's that's what I, you know, I be want to walk through the house naked sometime, and there you go, you know, so, uh, I mean, what, you know? No, if anything, you can go, not him. How about that? How about that? Now, because that video is so long, I had to chop it down, but let me give you the details for the parts that I removed. That young man is 29 years old, pays no bills in that house, doesn't take the trash out, been waiting on them to just tell me what you need me to do and I do it. The stepdad feels like the mom has been coddling him from day one, and that is the reason why this 29-year-old grown man feels like he has not no responsibilities for that house. That is the woman's, the wife's house, but the stepdad, husband, is paying all the bills. She feels absolutely vindicated and within her right to say that that boy, child of hers, can stay there as long as he wants because men leave, your children are forever. That is furthest from the truth. See, what I see a whole lot of single mamas do that have never experienced the real love of a man, has never seen the example of a man in her life, has never had a father. She creates children, especially boys, and she creates a intense connection and relationship with those boys because that is the only man that has ever loved her and never left. So in her mind, I need to keep this boy here by any means necessary. As a parent, it is our job to raise our children to never need us. That 29-year-old boy is going to be forever dependent on his mother and unfortunately the stepdad because ain't nobody making him grow up but the stepdad. The disrespect that that stepdad is getting in a house that he pay all the bills in is absolutely unheard of. If I was that man, I would pack my stuff and be gone today because the wife is already telling him, I will never respect you. I will never put you first. I can't for the life of me understand when women say I'm going to put my children before my husband because you understand that your children are going to leave you. Your children are going to go on to find husbands and wives and start their own life and have their own children, which will then become the priority. That's how a lot of these women end up being bitter black women mad at the world because, and you took my son away. No, ma'am, we didn't take your son away. You never had a man and you thought your son was going to be your man. And now that you mad that your son grew up and became a man, you feeling left behind. That's not okay. She has a perfectly good husband sitting in her house. And because she refuses to take accountability for her mistakes raising her son the way she did, she finna lose him. Because she refuses to show the man of the house is paying all the bills any respect, she's finna lose him. And I guarantee you, the moment that he does leave, she'll tell everybody, well, girl, it's because he couldn't handle a strong woman like me. Yeah, I couldn't either. I'd have been gone if I was that man.